today. The center of the political life of the Ukraine is Kiev. After the two days of, dis of negotiations, the joint communique was signed between Russian and Ukrainian representatives. The results and contents of the communique were made public after the parliamentary session, after Vice President Rutskoy and Ukrainian President Ruk uh, Kravchuk signed this new agreement. Those gathered in the hall learned that the communique consists of eight parts uh, regulating the relations between the republics in the transition period. In part, the republics agreed on measures to prevent the uncontrolled disintegration of the, sit of the state and appeal to all other members of the former union to sign economic agreements between them to begin reforming the military forces and to create a mechanism of collective security between the republics and to work out military and strategic questions. They declared their intention to abide by USSR agreements on arms reduction and establish communication links between Russia and Ukraine for constant communication links. As we already told you, the Russian delegation under the, represent, under the leadership of Vice President Rutskoy has flown to Kazakhstan's capital, Alma-Ata. The famous declaration of the President's Secretary, which raises territorial questions, is causing co uh, concern among representatives of the republics. Russia and Kazakhstan have already signed an, uh, an agreement recognizing existing boundaries in the USSR and Russian parliaments there is great concern about this declaration of the president. For an example, we hear from journalist Vladimir Posner. Good evening. Sometimes unhappy situations turn out happily. Now, as a result of these recent events, we are heading toward a normal society in which people can live in a human way. We have waited for this for so long, and now we have reached a key point of decision. If we do not decide these issues properly, this will all be in vain. A year ago I wrote in Komsomolskaya Pravda that the fall, the collapse of the USSR is inevitable, just as the collapse of any uh, empire is inevitable, and I have not changed my views. However, we can all agree that without the participation and strength of the Muscovites, people of Leningrad, and many others throughout Russia, the coup would have succeeded, and the desires of all the republics for independence would have been put down. If I was a, pol a politician, I would appeal to the republics with the following words. Your sovereignty is guaranteed. Your independence is recognized unconditionally. But now, when we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, let's proceed together, together supporting one another and our president for the attainment of this goal. Yes, we have many claims toward President Gorbachev, and they are completely justified. We have many pretensions to each other, and they are not trivial. But the fact, the fact is that alone we will not get out of the tunnel. I'm convinced of this. I, w I wish to say this clearly and loudly before it is too late. You probably already know that the, there is a committee founded in the country to take control of uh, the economy. 
Its first organizational meeting was held today. It, they discussed the first uh, measures that need to be taken to stabilize the economy, especially uh, the supply of food. I have just received this most recent information. I would like to read it to you now. The discussion on concrete specific measures to uh, come up with uh, most urgent measures to provide food in the uh, coming winter months. The most important thing is to maintain and restore economic relations between the republics, and uh, the text is unclear here. During the discussion, the question was raised on the status of this committee. It is necessary to decide this question uh, with the approval of the Council of Ministers and the approval of the Supreme Soviet. It was decided to give to this committee temporarily all the functions of the Soviet government. This uh, recommendation was brought to the attention of the Soviet president. We remember how much concern there was about the question of whether Russia itself will remain unified. There was a meeting of representatives of the various republics which themselves are parts of the Russian Federation. The Parliament of Dushanbe, capital of Tajikistan, was the site of a meeting of people who demanded the resignation of the, the government of Tajikistan. They demanded uh, multi-party free elections for the posts of government leaders. After a long struggle, the Semipalatinsk nuclear testing facility has been closed by order of President Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan. I remind you that nuclear testing has been carried out here since 1949. Uh, about 500 nuclear tests have been carried out there with obvious damage to the health and lives of people who live there. Now the union government must decide how to pay monetary comp compensation to the residents of this area. It was decided to transform the former polygon into a union republican sec uh, scientific research center. New KGB chief Bagkatin has begun to reform his agency, uh, perhaps most quickly of any agency at all. Today, uh, President Gorbachev issued an order creating a committee of government communication. And now there we have information from Minsk. During the days of the coup, people gathered here outside the parliament, members of the National Front, members of other anti-communist movements. They were sure that the coup d'etat would not succeed. At a session of the Belarusian Supreme Soviet, the people greeted the decision of the parliament which declared independence and declared the removal of party organizations from enterprises. Today, according to the old peasant custom, people came to this place nine days after the coup to remember those who fell defending the, the, the democracy in Moscow. We are here to remember those who fell defending democracy and to remember the, the families of those who died on the night of August 19th to, to the 20th. We gathered here on that night to try to help uh, the people in Moscow, and I hope that the world community uh, will not uh, think that the Belarusian people are the same as their government and the Communist Party.
And now about one more session uh, from Azerbaijan. The deputies marked those who fell during the coup with a moment of silence and also those military personnel who have died in battles in Nagorno-Karabakh. They demanded that the agenda include an item on suspension of the activities of the Communist Party and investigating its activities during the coup d'etat. This uh, proposal uh, did not receive a majority of the votes. The President of the Republic noted that, that Azerbaijan was one of the first republics in the country to declare its sovereignty and this was achieved with the mutual participation of all political parties and movements. It was 